Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you where you can find the fancy specialty brushes that come with Photoshop Elements. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's take a look at these brushes. So let's first grab our brush right here. There is the Photoshop Elements brush, brush tool. And then down at the bottom here, we have our options. Now you've all seen this little brush icon right there. Click on that and you can then change it from a small to a larger size brush. This is a hard edge brush, or you can come down here to a soft edge brush. That's pretty much what most of us do most of the time. But there's a lot more here inside of Photoshop Elements. We'll start off with just by going to a soft edge brush. And I'll bring my size up a lot here, even more than that. There we go, real big brush, soft edge, just like that. And then the hard edge, of course, has a nice hard edge to it. I'll bring this up here as well. Hard edge brush. Now you can adjust your settings. Come down here to brush settings. And there are a few things you can do in here. You can fade it out. You can have a hue jitter, which jitters the color between the foreground and background color. You can do some scattering, some spacing, a lot of fun stuff. Let's do a real big scattering here. Notice how the brush look down there changes. So here's our scattering and increase our spacing a little bit. You can adjust your hardness right here and the roundness. I'm going to move the hue jitter here all the way to the top like that. And that's good. Let's go over here. I'm going to change the background color to something like a nice bright green here. Just do that. So you have blue and green. Now, if I come in here and paint, notice how it actually scatters that and spaces them apart. And it jumps around between the different hues, between the foreground and the background hues. So you can come down here and have a lot of fun with these brush settings. Let's just set all this stuff back to its default settings, which is at the zero side left hand here. I'll leave the hardness at the top and roundness at the top as well. So that's just a standard brush. Now if we go back here to our drop down list, and if I keep scrolling down, you'll see we have a lot more brushes down here. Keep on going down. Here we go. We begin to get into some of these texture brushes. Notice it's real small again. I'm going to bring my size up so you can actually see this thing. There we go. If I just tap, you get that kind of a effect. Now if I brush like this, it looks more like an actual brush stroke. So it's getting a bit better, a bit fancier in here. If I keep scrolling down, I'm using just the wheel and the mouse, and keep scrolling down, a lot more of these kind of fancy brush strokes. But here's some real fun ones. Just bring this one up a lot. Kind of a little star shape thing. And I've used this on occasion. Some of these brushes, if you tap a few times, it comes in a lot more. So you may want to just tap it a few times on that. So we have some of these kind of interesting effects in here. Down here, we have some of these grass brushes. If I just paint across like that, it gives a grassy effect. Notice this already has some scattering included in it and some huge that are included in that as well. You can go back and forth and put in just kind of a grass effect like that. Here's a leaf effect. They're pretty small. Let me bring the size up again. Now this one has a little bit of a hue jitter as well as you can see in there. If I just tap, I get a few of those around there. Now you can control that amount. Again, back over here, brush settings. Scatters at 44. I'm going to bring the scatter down a little bit. Let me bring the hue jitter up a lot. And let's change our colors over here. Just do some fall colors. Here's kind of a nice bright orange in here like that. And for our bottom one down here, let's come down and do more of a brown right down here. And there we go. More of a fall color look in there on that. So as you can see, you can do a lot with just this first set of brushes. And there's even more in here, more leaves, some stars, and a few things like that. So we're getting better, we're getting fancier. There's a lot more stuff in here, as you can see. But there's still more beyond all of this. Now I'm going to be using the Control-Z keyboard shortcut just to back out of all this stuff. Just tap Control-Z, undoes the last step. Fast way just to back out of all these different brush strokes. Get our workspace cleared up here a little bit. There we go. OK, so now I've got more brushes. That's right up here where it says brush and default brushes. Click on that, and then you get all of these different brush sets in here. Artistic brushes, assorted brushes, basic, calligraphic, drop shadow, dry media, faux finish, natural brushes, one and two, pen pressure. These work if you're using a tablet with a stylus that has a pressure effect on it. Special effects, square brushes, thick, heavy, and wet media. These are mostly for doing painting, kind of freehand painting. Now, my favorite of all this is the assorted brushes. Let's take a fast look at that one. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's just grab one of these. I'm going to bring these sides again up so you can actually see that. There we go. And it gives you this circle effect. Now, if I brush like that, you have some spacing in here. So let's go back to our brush settings. You can see 
there's the spacing setting right down there. If I wanted to have that change color, I'm just gonna bring up my hue jitter and now it changes color. Okay, control Z to back out of that particular brush. And there's a lot more in here, kind of a square star effect, grid pattern effect. Now I use this one sometimes. Let me bring the size up here. If I wanna make something look like it's a pencil sketch, I may do a little bit of this, just kind of tapping it in. That sometimes works out well. And a lot more of these specialty effects brushes. Some calligraphic brushes right down in here. There we go. And I'll bring my size back up again. Not too big, like that. Now this brush, as you can see, it has a thinness to it, so I can get a calligraphic kind of an effect in here. That kind of a thing happening. And again, you can control a lot of those settings in here from the brush settings. Right here we have a spacing setting on that of 25, a little bit of spacing going on on that. Keep on scrolling down. Here's a snowflake. Let's just change our colors here to a light blue, which works out well for a snowflake. And maybe just a slightly darker blue in here. There we go. And bring my size up on that. And one tap, there's a snowflake. Come down to our brush settings. Let's bring our spacing up and bring our scattering up a little bit in here. And let's bring our huge jitter all the way up and pull down like that. And here's a bunch of snowflakes. If you want to change sizes, just come in here and adjust your size, do a few more, bring your size down, do a few more like that. Let's go back to our brushes again. Have some stars down here and a lot more, as you can see, just tons of stuff. And that's just the assorted brushes, again, my personal favorite set. But we have calligraphic brushes in here, full finish brushes, dry media brushes. These are nice if you're trying to do kind of pastel drawings, things like that. Natural brushes for a natural brush effect. So there are actually, look down through here, hundreds of different brushes, especially brushes in here that you can use that are all available from this drop down menu. Back to our default ones right here. And all of these brushes have an unlimited amount of variations if you combine the brush over here with your brush settings right over in there. So there you go. That's where you can find all these fancy specialty brushes right inside of Photoshop Elements. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and don't forget to check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.